question 15 if we let u equal e to the power of x plus 1 du dx is equal to e to the power of x so du is equal to e to the power of x dx so we're going to have the integral between ln 3 and 0 of e to the power of x dx which is du over e to the power of x plus 1 which is u which gives the natural log of u which gives the natural log of e to the power of x plus 1 between ln 3 and 0 so we're going to go putting in ln 3 for x we have the natural log of e to the power of ln 3 which is equal to 3 plus 1 minus putting 0 in for x the natural log of e to the power of 0 plus 1 so we're going to get the natural log of 4 3 plus 1 minus the natural log of 1 plus 1 which is 2 so we're going to have the natural log of 4 over 2 which is equal to the natural log of 2 question 16 if we let u equal to 1 minus x du dx is equal to minus 1 or du is equal to minus dx or minus du is equal to dx so we want x here so in terms of u i can rewrite if I bring the x to the left, x is equal to x is equal to 1 minus u if we bring the u to the right. So this should help me simplify this one. So x is 1 minus u and 1 minus x is u to the power of 99 and this will be equal to minus the u. So I'm going to have a minus 1 in front if we imagine factoring out the minus 1. The integral between 1 and 0 of 1 minus u times u to the power of 99. So if we integrate 1 minus u times u to the power of 99. So we can actually I can multiply this out. 1 by u to the power of 99. If we simplify the bracket we're going to get u to the power of 99 minus u to the power of 100 so we have the integral of this and a minus in front between 1 and 0 so we can bring the minus in first or second if we bring the minus in first we'll have the integral of if we reverse around this one becomes a plus u to the power of 100 minus u to the power of 99 so this is going to be u to the power of 101 over 101 minus u to the power of 100 over 100 increase the power divided by the new power so we have 1 minus x to the power of 1 or 1 divided by 101 minus u to the power of sorry, u 1 minus x to the power of 100 over 100 all between 1 and 0 now if we put 1 in if we put 1 in that's going to be 0 isn't it 1 minus 1 so the 1 gives us no value so putting 0 in so we're going to get 0 minus putting 0 in we're going to get 1 to the power of 100 and 1 is just 1 so 1 over 1 or 1 minus 1 over 100 and that minus takes effect again giving us 1 over 100 minus 1 over 101 which works out to be let's do a softy soft multiply we're going to get 101 minus 100 divided by 100 times 101 which is going to give 1 over 101 with two zeros for question 16.